What's up guys? Going to the SCGC today here at Swansea Arena with my boy Dan, Mr. Nice himself. Uh, looking forward to this. Let's get in there and see what it's like. Been here five minutes and this place is already sick. What are you saying, Dan? And we are back from the SCGC in Swansea Arena, my first ever comic and gaming convention. And I really enjoyed it, I had a fantastic day. Um, there was a ton of cool stuff there. Now I didn't really have a goal in mind. The only thing I really wanted to pick up at this event was some like custom artwork. Uh, the games were neither here nor there. I did have a look at them and I did pick up a couple. Unfortunately, no N64 games on the list or in my price range, so I didn't pick any of them up. But like I said, I was there for the experience and there for a bit of custom artwork. And yeah, I really enjoyed myself. And if you guys ever want to go, you should definitely check them out. I'll stick the links to all their socials and stuff in the uh, description below. <clears throat> really cool event. It's an independent gaming and comic convention. Uh, the boys set it up. I want to say like 10, 15 years ago, and the thing has just grown year by year. It's right on my doorstep, and I've never been before, so I'm really glad I went. Um, I'll show you what I did pick up. Like I said, nothing crazy here. I did get a couple of bangers for the uh, Sega Mega Drive, uh, my favourite game of all time, Streets of Rage, and I also picked up Streets of Rage 2. Great to add them to the collection. My favourite game of all time, I think this is. Um, so, yeah, and I didn't have it, so great to pick them up. Uh, yeah, like I said, these are the only two games I picked up. Games weren't at the top of my list. The experience and having fun was the main thing. Picked up a couple of independent comics here. <laughs> kind of random, but I love this sort of independent stuff. One of them's filth, apparently, and the other one's a bit more family-friendly. Very cool. This one here is pretty cool. He told me the story of this one. Uh, he tattooed the Power Rangers, and then the Power Rangers tattooed him, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I'll stick his socials as well below if you want to check him out. Very cool to pick them up. And then my favourite thing of the day... I uh, had this uh, custom like caricature done of me. He had like a spinning wheel, and whatever it landed on, he'd do a caricature of you in that style. Well, I said I wanted a turtles one, and he just said he'd do the turtles one. I didn't spin the wheel. I cheated, I know. But this is the result. Man, this thing is funny as hell. This thing is me as Michelangelo with my pizza and my nunchucks. That is sick. This is what I went for. I would have liked a bit more, uh, a few more bits of artwork like this. But uh, I'm still chuffed to bring this home. Once the game room is up and running, this is going on the B-Rad wall. Uh, so sick. Very cool. But that's everything I picked up. Like I said, guys, buying stuff wasn't really the top of my priority. The experience of having fun, meeting people, taking pictures. That sort of thing was my uh, main aim for the day. And I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And like I said, guys, if you want to go or want to look up this event, I'll stick all the links below. And if you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, be rad, stay rad, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.